It's a relatively simple test that could dramatically reduce foodborne illnesses right around the world. The test was developed at Western and could hit the market in just a few months. Jerry Dewan joins us now with more. And Jerry, what is this test actually targeting? It actually starts with E. coli terra, a bug that can range from extremely uncomfortable to fatal. But the lead researcher says this test could be extended to cover a wide range of bacterial contaminations with far-reaching effects. Earlier this month, dozens of people fell ill from E. coli contamination after eating at Chipotle restaurants in the U.S. Northwest. It's an all-too-common occurrence, but a Western researcher believes this small tester could greatly reduce these types of outbreaks. If it looks like a pregnancy test, you're right, because it is like a pregnancy test. The test was developed by Dr. Michael Reeder and his team at the Robarts Research Institute. It takes 10 minutes, as opposed to the two to four days for current testing. And the reading is simple. One line is safe, two lines are trouble. Reader believes this could go a long way to improving food safety. It's a big deal. If you look at the Center for Disease Control in the U.S., they estimate that one in six Americans in a year, so 50, 50 million people have some kind of foodborne illness. It accounts for probably 130,000 hospital admissions a year, 3,000 deaths in the U.S. So if we can you know, look at ways to prevent this, it is a big difference. I mean, it is, I think it's really important that you know, we have a robust and safe food chain, and I, and I think this potentially is a game changer. Reader sees the test initially being used by major food producers, particularly the beef industry, to help them avoid large-scale and often costly product recalls. We are going to save a bunch of money because obviously if a, comp if a company only has to pull back one day or half a day's worth of production, it's a big difference in pulling it back from four days' worth, came back from stores, the reputational hit the company takes, the big financial hit the company takes. But Reader also believes the test could eventually be used right in restaurants to avoid outbreaks that damage their brand. And he believes they could soon have a test for another, even more serious, bacterial contamination. We're going to apply this technology to Listeria next, which we think is a bigger public health problem. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get that down as well. Of course, many people locally associate E. coli with the Walkerton water tragedy that claimed seven lives and made hundreds of others extremely ill. Reader believes his tester can also be used for water systems. Tara? All right, incredible. Thanks, Jerry. Yes.